talking about how it's important to always follow the rules, but sometimes it's all about the luck as well. So stay tuned. So obviously day trading is always gonna be a little bit of luck, but a lot of skill and time spent sticking to the rules. Obviously every single trade we get into, there's a chance that can go against us. But the whole point is that we're minimizing that risk. If I'm right about my trades 75, 80% of the time, I can be profitable as long as I cut my losses fast enough, as long as I'm consistently taking profit, I can be profitable. But mentally you have to keep focused on the idea that obviously there's gonna be a little bit of luck in every single trade. And I'm always looking for trades that I think, okay, this is definitely gonna go higher. This has got a lot of volume, a lot of action. I'm looking for those key indicators. ONCS, you can see today it got up there to the $3 area. It ran up from this morning up there, 286, got up there to 295. You can see the top here at the 286, 286 double top. It pulled back. So I was looking to go short if it couldn't break above that high again. It ended up breaking above that high. I was able to go short. I got 3,000 shares short right there at 283, hoping for this to roll off and crack. Ended up not working out. It got back up there to 293. I still saw a lot of sellers sitting there, so I got another 1,000 there at 288. And you can see it got there to 295, 295. I ended up covering as this pulled back down to the EMA for basically break even and made 100 bucks on the trade. You can see it pulled back down there to the EMA. So that's one of the reasons that I got out there. One of the reasons I got in was because I was looking for that high of day to not break. There was a lot of selling pressure. It was looking like it didn't want to break. I was thinking, okay, this might roll back off there, pull back down to the 270s or go lower from there. And you can see what happened. So it got there, boom, boom. I had 4,000 shares at 293 area. Big seller stepped up. I saw the selling pressure. So I'm like, okay, I feel good about this. I think we'll get a pullback. We got a pullback down the 280 area. That 280 area found some support. There were buyers stepping up again. So then I covered making 100 bucks on that trade. So then I was watching it, watching it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay away for now. And I ended up working on another video. I was working on the video talking about iPhone, how it broke. And then I saw someone posting in the chat room how ONCS was crashing. I look back here. I'm like, wait, 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 what, what? And I look back here and there it is. From 286, it crashed down there to 215. Uh, it was a 10 minute difference there. So literally I was 10 minutes early to this trade. If I would have shorted into this pop, if I would have shorted into that 295 pop there, that would have been an amazing move. So 4,000 shares from 295 down there to 215, some huge profit. This could have also went the other way. This could have went higher and it could have exploded above $3, but that was kind of the risk, the reward there. I was thinking, okay, we got that whole dollar there, $3 area. As long as this can't break above $3, I think this is gonna go lower and I, you know, I could have held this one a little bit longer. Maybe I should have been more patient. Maybe I should have just held this one, but everything was like, okay, it's back down to that EMA there. It's got the support there. It's bouncing. I'm gonna get out for now. I'll come back later if I need to. We were nearing the end of the day. I'm trying to stick to my rules about not trying to trade after. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stick to my rules of not trading. At the end of the day, I ended up shorting this thinking that I could get a little bit of a sell off there, get some kind of move lower. ONCS up to that 295. And then boom, down there to 215. So this right here was all luck. This whole drop would have just been a lucky, lucky trade. You know, getting in here, sure, I never would have thought this thing would drop to 215. I was thinking, you know, 270 area, 260 area would be good. I'd be happy with that. But you can see how the people who shorted here at the 295 area, they were a lot of lucky. There was a lot of luck there, you know, getting in there short 295 and then covering down here at 215. Beautiful trade here if you would have gotten in there at that point and taking that profit there. So you can see, even when I followed the rules, even when I followed my rules, I got in there at a good time. I covered at a good time. We were bouncing off the EMA there. It went higher. Obviously I should have kept a better eye on this. I should have shorted there again. Once it couldn't break over that high, that would have been a good area to short, you know, breaking, not breaking over 295. Boom, boom. Look at this going lower. This would have been the beautiful place to short right here, that 286 area. Once it broke through the EMA. So you can see, Earlier, you know, we were riding the EMA, riding the EMA. We had a nice trend going from about 2.30 till about 3. Had a nice trend, nice trend, moving higher, moving higher, pulling back, hitting the EMA there. And then once again, going higher. But then, look at this. Boom! So, a lot of luck there. Following the rules, sticking to the rules, sticking to the plan. But sometimes, you get lucky. And this trade here on ONCS, this is exactly the kind of trade that you just look back and you're like, wow, that, that would have been a 2000 3000 profit there easily if I would have just waited 10 more minutes. So sometimes you just don't get lucky. Sometimes you, it's just part of it. It's part of it. And I'm not going to sit here all day long and just stare at it and think about how much money I could have made on this drop here. 4,000 shares from 290 down there to 220. And you get a 60, 70 cent drop. So I really just want to stress the fact that it is important. It's very important to follow the rules, 
stick to your gut, take your profit when you got it, cut your losses as well. But also, there's going to be days where you just get lucky. Also, this could have went the other way. This could have went above $3 and shot up to $4 somehow and just been insane. But I don't think it would have. But sometimes you just get lucky here. I wasn't lucky on this one. But it really comes down to just consistently doing the same thing over and over every day. Looking for the right movers. Looking for the right stocks. Trading those stocks the same way every day. Taking profit when you got it. Cutting your losses. And keep being consistent with that. And that's really... All you can do. It's all you can do. There's going to be days where stocks like this are going to drop out of nowhere and you're going to miss out. There's going to be days where you're going to be short here and all of a sudden it's going to start dropping, dropping, dropping. And you're going to go, wow, wow. And it's going to go, and you're going to make a ton of money. But if you're not consistent, if you can't consistently do it every single day, looking for those same exact moves, looking for the same exact setups, the same stocks every day, the same kind of stocks that go higher and higher, buying into those, selling into those, and figuring out the trends, then you won't be here for the day when this does happen. So I'm going to write it off as, hey, I missed out on this one. Maybe tomorrow I'll get lucky and something big will drop as well. So I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to stick to my rules, stick to the plan here, take the profit when I got it. If I see something like this, you know, bouncing off the support there, bouncing off the EMA, that's kind of a sign like, okay, this might keep going higher. It's following the trend. I had no idea this was going to just start crashing from 288 down there to 215. Nobody knew that. Nobody knew that other than maybe the company who put out bad news or something when that crashed. But really, it's just about following the trend, not being stubborn and being consistent with your plan. So if you're going to take profit at a certain point, take profit. If you're going to take profit at a certain point, take profit. If you're going to cut your loss, cut your loss and do it consistently. So really it comes down to the idea that there's going to be luck, but if you're consistently doing the same plan, if you're consistently using kind of the same risk reward, you can become profitable over time. This could have easily went the other way and I could have lost a bunch of money. So I walked away, basically break even on that trade. Could have made a lot of money on the way down, but hey, it is it is what it is. I'll be ready to go tomorrow morning and do it all over again, looking for another hot opportunity tomorrow morning. <laughs>